Good afternoon, this is Melissa with the StockSwish.com and welcome. Welcome to CAG, Golden Gap of the Day, uh, Play of the Day in the Stock Swish Show Trading Room. I actually went to the dream target to a number I didn't even have written down anywhere. And you know, looking back now, you know, sometimes the market surprises you. Uh, sometimes gaps surprise you. I, I think that's the fun part about trading actually, where you know, you get up in the morning and you're like, oh, nothing's really great. And then all of a sudden you get something good. And then all of a sudden you have a bigger day than expected. And then all of a sudden you're like, yeah, you know, I love doing this. And this, you know, my instinct this morning, I knew this was the weakest thing. You know, I, I just, I, I had a feeling this morning. I had a feeling this morning that this was the weakest, weakest chart. And it definitely was. So this had a huge move back here. Huge move back here, two dollar drop. This was, this was less than a week ago. No, it was a week ago. It was a week ago. Today is the nineteenth. It was less than ten days ago. And, and look what it did again here. Look at this thing. It's just amazing. So almost a two dollar drop today, and it just did it here. So I actually have been watching this since the rally back up for this to hit, was watching this in here, actually had watched this even in here. I felt that the next day after this, it was going to break again. It did break in here. It didn't break the whole number, rally back up, set up again, and then gap today. So there were many, many targets in this today. The first target was $31, which it did hit. And here was the trades today. Really just really nailed this first trade today. Beautiful. You could have done this up here. I did not do this. It didn't have enough volume to take it. You could have done it. I was watching it though. Here was the trade. Here was the trade that I did with a nice, beautiful, tight stop. Boop. There it is. You're in the trade. It gets to the drop and it actually goes right to the first target. Right immediately the first target. The first target was 31 and it went right to the first target. Nice, squishy little entry here with a beautiful stop and it goes right down. So literally, boom. Your whole day could have been done right there. I mean, literally the whole day could have been done right there, except for the fact that I kept watching this. And I said, wait a minute. I actually, actually think that this is more to it. And the reason that I thought that was because I saw it rally back up here and hold. Came in, I saw it rally back up here and hold. Then I saw it rally back up here and hold. And when I saw this rally back up here and hold, I actually saw this rally here. I didn't take it again in here, but I called it in the room. I said, you take it, take it here. and put the stop over 3140. And I didn't do that. I actually was like, let me just relax a little bit here because I just did this first trade and I got all out of this first trade here. And then I was trying to let it settle itself down. And every time I kept holding, I said, woo, whoa, Nelly. And then I took it here. I actually waiting here really paid off in the second trade. I got it in here beautifully. Okay. So this was a lovely, lovely 13 cent stop in here and it fell off a cliff. And actually, I did an ad in this on the five minute too. This is a one minute chart. I did an ad in it in the five minute chart, and I lowered the stop then to be less ten cents on the five, and uh, <laughs> it just capitulated, capitulated. And you know how? See how sometimes people look at these things and they think they're going to go like climactic. I know this rallied here, but you can't buy this climactic. If anything, it was looking to short this, the possibility is again on the day, but then it rallied a little bit too much. You actually could have redone the trade here in the 15 minute. You actually could have redone the trade here in the 15 minute. I don't like this time of the day, but it did set up between 1245 and one o'clock and did run down another 50 cents. And you could have done that. It's over here now. And this wasn't going to go back down to the low of the day. The drop off was too big. The move in the morning was too big. The move in the morning was the whole move. Once again, how to get paid in trading and gaps. You trade in the morning and you get paid. In that first half hour of the day, you've got to know how to trade it. That gives me an edge. I have such a tremendous edge in the market making money as a trader because I know how to trade that beginning part of the day like nobody's business. And if you want to learn how, I teach a how in a class, in the gap class. And I'm actually doing another class next weekend, September 28th and 29th. I am teaching people how to do what I do. And I do it day after day after day after day after day after day after day. And, you know, days like today, when you think you're not going to get much of anything to do of nothing, 
you get something like this and it has two beautiful, beautiful trades. And you could have done the trade in the afternoon, although I didn't and I really wouldn't have. But you could have, all right? But, you know, low odds, this would have gone back down and then broke the low of the day after the move it had in the morning. The whole move was in the morning. In fact, the low of the day was set at what time? 10.45. 10.45. But there was a big, beautiful move in this that happened today. And I had a perfect entry in the first trade of the morning and a perfect entry in the second trade. I tell you, it's all about the entries. And more than that, more than even the entries, it is knowing how to find the right stock symbol to trade in the day. How did I know the CAG was going to be a short today to have a nice move to pay me? And it went past what I thought. But how did I know it was going to have a move? How did I know this was going to have volatility? How did I know this is going to have momentum? Because I understand how to read gaps. And I saw this chart as being weak. Do you see how things go and continue in the direction that they want to go? This idea of things filling gaps is, is, is insane. Okay, this was never going to fill this gap up here after this gap. It was never going to do it. And this ran down here in the last week. Okay, what a beautiful short today. And all of this is happening against the market. We're in a bullish market right now, and CAG cannot get a breath of life. And actually, one of the things I loved about this when I saw it this morning is, guess what? Market ran up yesterday and exploded. CAG had a dinky, dinky, dinky green bar and could barely get over and couldn't even touch, not by a penny. It couldn't get over the high of the previous day. CAG rallied yesterday with the market and so did everything on the planet. But CAG could not even get over the high from the previous day. CAG held actually right in here where it triggered the daily sell setup. Look at this. It held the resistance. This is resistance. This is the resistance on CAG. And when it rallied yesterday with the market, when the market blew higher after the FOMC minutes, CAG couldn't get a breath of life. And the whole thing was beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful stock. Wonderful trade. Wonderful day. Two trades in this today. And you could have done the one in the afternoon. Great. Uh, beautiful golden gap. So if you would like to learn how to rate gaps and how to take entries and trades and how to trade the first 30 minutes of the day and how to find momentum and look to be in these stocks when they move and not after the fact, because after the fact is too late, you must be able to pick the right stock symbol to watch to get the entries to get paid with nice risk to reward trades. Every trade in this today was huge as far as the risk to reward goes. It didn't matter even where you got out. The entry is the key and putting a stop at the right place and knowing how to read it and finding the right stock symbol which today I did, and it was CAG. If you would like to take the Golden Gap class, it is September 28th and 29th. Fall is a great time to trade. There are lots of moves, and fourth quarter earnings are coming right around the bend in October. So to take the class in September preps you to learn this information to trade live and make money in the fourth quarter of 2013 to, to make money to go into the end of the year to have a beautiful holiday. So if you'd like more information, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Thanks, everybody, and have a great day.